let us take the lesson ahead and furthermore dear children we are going to learn about the causes of failure of the struggle we have come to know that finally the britishers were successful in defeating the revolters in this revolt of 1857 the first freedom struggle of the indians against the britishers but we lost it initially dear children we learnt about the causes of the revolt now we are going to learn or we are going to find out the reasons that why did this revolt of 1857 failed why did the indians have to face defeat at the hands of the britishers so the first one is the struggle was not comprehensive now what does it mean what does the word comprehensive mean it means that uh, this freedom struggle or this revolt of 1857 was not on a very very large spectrum it was not fought in almost all the parts of india it did not cover the the territories from north to south and east to west but then as said earlier it remained scattered and isolated in only a few places in india it rather concentrated more on in the northern part of india if you if you can see the map which is given on page number 18 uh, we can very easily make out dear children that the important centers of uprising which are marked with red dot that the revolters were active only in these uh, areas whereas you will find that most of the southern uh, part the eastern part the even the western part northwest part they remained absolutely inactive uh, the revolters were active only or it was concentrated only in the central part of india the eastern part of india and precisely the northern part of india but rest of uh, the places people the indian community did not participate they remained dormant or they remained away from they remained inactive or away from um, participating in the revolt of 1857 though they were equally harassed by the britishers but they either did not have the guts or courage to fight or they were indifferent uh, from the situation or they ran away from the situation uh, and therefore there was no participation from these areas or these territories or kingdoms or communities of Uh, india and they did not support the revolt the second lack of second reason why the revolt failed that is lack of proper leadership we have already learned dear children that um, though bahadur shah was proclaimed or declared as the emperor with the thought that he would lead the revolt but it did not happen and therefore there were other leaders who fought against the britishers of course they took lead to seeing that bahadur shah is incapable of doing it but then even they fell short and therefore individually these revolters like uh, rani lakshmi bai or tata tope or nana sahib peshwa individually they fought uh, very fiercely very bravely but if they had been together under one leadership maybe the revolt would have gained more momentum and maybe history would have been different and we would have won this first war of independence against the britishers but it was not to happen because we did not have a proper leader to lead the revolt now why why do we uh, why do we need to have a proper leader because he can coordinate well uh, a proper uniformity is maintained and there are proper Uh, strategies which can be planned to take the fight or the conflict or the war or the battle ahead but it did not happen because all these leaders fought on their own terms uh, they decided the strategies for themselves they decided it according to their whims and fancies and uh, therefore the fight was absolutely disoriented there was uh, there was no radar to the fight and it uh, no coordination 
it it went off in a very scattered way in isolation that started right from the beginning and therefore we lost at the hands of the britishers next most of the feudatory princes remained aloof um this was a very striking feature of the reason why we failed in the revolt of 1857 dear children um though these small princely rulers or these small princely kingdoms the kings were troubled by the britishers but still they remained loyal to the british government because the britishers supported them with a lot of financial help may be providing them with army arms and ammunition and therefore they uh, remained faithful and loyal to the british government they did not have the courage to retaliate retaliate against them they did not have the courage to pick up arms against them and wage a war and therefore these small princely kingdoms or these small princely states their rulers remained away from the revolt of 1857 that was a major blow to the revolt because had it been that these uh, local kingdoms or these small princely states had supported the revolters maybe we would have been in a better position to fight against the britishers next lack of military tactics very very important point very very important cause for the failure of the struggle of 1857 dear children it is very well said that wars are or battles are not actually fought on the battlefield they are initially fought in the minds of the leaders who strategically plan every move of their soldiers and thus half of the battle half of the war is won in the planning itself but here as we have already learned that the revolt did not reach to every nook and corner of india not all kingdoms and princely states participated in it there was no central leadership it was absolutely distorted and disoriented this fight or this war or this battle or this freedom struggle and therefore we lacked in the military strategies which are very important in any war if we have to win it whereas you will always find if we compare the britishers made every move of theirs with full planning and with full strategy moreover we did not have enough disciplined army soldiers and most important we did not have enough stock of arms and ammunition weapons which are required for that is the prerequisite for uh, a soldier to give a fierce fight in the battle soldiers were not properly equipped with arms and ammunition or weapons and therefore they lost against the britishers it was very easy for the britishers to uh, crush or curb this revolt with one more reason and the reason is the britishers had controlled the transport and communication in india it was under their supremacy and with this their movements became very fast and quick they could reach to one from one place to another within no time they could carry their weapons or arms and ammunition from one place to another in a very very short span of time whereas the indian sepoys could not manage all this because we did not have proper means of communication as well all this led to the failure or the defeat of the revolters in the freedom struggle of 1857 one more very important point why the britishers gained um, a lot of uh, momentum in this revolt was the support which they received from uh, outside india that is it was a very very favorable condition for uh, the britishers on the international level they had won the war against russia very recently just before the struggle of 1857 and 
and they had very good trade relations with most of the other countries in the world because if you remember the industrial revolution first broke out in uh, england and th that's the mother uh, place of industrial revolution and uh, it gave a uh, momentum to or pace to the fast trading businesses of the englishmen and they had good hold over all the trade relations with the different countries in the world moreover they had a very good navy as well a good hold over the naval strength and it was very massive huge the naval strength was very very influential of the britishers and therefore even on this front the indians had to give up because they could not stand the attacks of the britishers